Hi everybody, it's Honest John. Um, I spend a lot of my time performing at uh, urban clubs, which means the audiences are mostly black. Most of the comics on the on the bills are black. And one of the things that is true is that uh, black audiences are generally more tolerant of cheap humor at the expense of homosexuals than a, lo a lot of white audiences are. And it's just a fact that where gay rights have been put up for a vote, the black community has been pretty solidly against it. Many black people resent when gay people compare their struggle for rights to the civil rights movement of the black community. Some of them still insist that being gay is a choice. And, and they resent any comparison of the gay civil rights movement to their own. I was pleasantly surprised then when the NAACP came out with a statement in support of gay rights. And I hope that that, combined with Obama's uh, coming out in support of, of gay marriage, will uh, at least create some discussion and debate in the black community about this. Now, the black churches, who played a uh, such an important leadership role in the civil rights struggle have been mostly silent or have come out in opposition to gay marriage and, and, and gay rights in general. And uh, I hope that'll change. Martin Luther King understood that the civil rights movement extended well beyond the black community. When he died, he was planning a march for poverty. Now this is a problem that extends to all communities. And Martin Luther King understood that genuine equality could not happen without at least some form of economic equality. And the problem of civil rights is not just the problem of black civil rights. It's a problem for all of us. As long as one segment of our society can be denied equal rights, then all of our rights are in jeopardy. As long as any group of people in our society does not have all the rights that all others have, whether it's blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, gays, or women, as long as they don't have the same rights everyone else has, then we're not really living up to the principles stated in the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. In the American dream, it's just an empty promise. Thanks for listening.